Hey guys, welcome back to the QPR Road to Glory. I was taking a look at the calendar thinking, okay, January, we went unbeaten. And then going into February, I thought, well, we should maybe continue an unbeaten run. That would be great. Bang, we lose 3-0 to Stoke. And two draws either side of it where I just stunk. <laughs> just awful. So in today's episode, Plymouth, Middlesbrough, and then Aston Villa. I need to win at least two of these games. There is one of them being a cup game. Of course, the Villa game is a cup game. Um, hopefully, we'll face Villa in the near future when we're in the Premier League. But right now, my focus is on Plymouth. They are in the relegation zone. I am in 10th. I've been fighting kind of around 8th to 12th for a while. Hey, at least I'm being consistent in that regard. I am going three at the back for this one. Sade and Scarlett up front, Richards in behind, Deli Ali and Irogbinam or Tim. I still don't know how to go pronounce this guy's name. Plaquetta on the right, Paul on the left, Clark Salter, Matriziani and Cannon. And then the most out of form goalkeeper, Begovic. I just don't have a good replacement. I've got Mahoney here, but 63 rated. Oh, that is it's just dangerous, isn't it, really? So, unfortunately, Field does get dropped. We don't really have a DM role in this game, but I thought, we're playing Plymouth, come on. And although Tim is a DM, I'm converting him slowly over time into more of a central midfielder that can do a bit of everything, kind of like a box-to-box a -box role. Well, we're 1-0 down already. I had a chance to stick a boot in, get the ball, but as usual, I flop. Honestly, all I need to do is get a clean sheet for once. But apparently it's it's relatively impossible. But it's okay. It's early in the game. We've got loads of time. At the moment, this is not working at all. I'm getting overran in behind my midfield. I've got too many players forward and I'm not making the most of them. Don't worry, I'm not going to change anything yet. I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer. But as of right now... I'm not finding any success with this. But, oh, see, look, if I get that pass right, I'm flying in. I'm one-on-one I'm -on -one with the keeper, probably. Oh, my. Oh. How is it so easy to get in behind and just destroy me like that? Yeah, I've just given it straight back to them again. Thankfully, it wasn't a very good header. Here is Deli Ali. Can we create something? That might work. Nope, he's let it go through. All Shardo has to do there is just take a little touch, bring it down under control, run through three players and score. <laughs> Simple, right? Maybe this time we can get through. Nice. Scarlet's in here. Has he got the finish? Yes, he does. It's through the keeper. Another terrible goalkeeping mistake in this career mode. Don't you just love non elite football I, I it sounds awful but we're in the championship you're going to see more mistakes in general but that is again just an absolute howler from a goalkeeper i'll take it though for once it's not begovic just a couple of minutes until half time here why is there such a gap what is that oh he's missed explain that huge just open area in my def in my defense there between my defense and midfield as well just unacceptable. I remember this feeling very well in the Girona career mode. I just don't think three at the back is any good in this year's game. I can try five at the back and get the two up top. I can go with the five, two, one, two. But honestly, I'm not sure it's going to be that great. I'm, I'm going to give it a go. But once again, I'm just I'm messing around with formations and stuff. And... Um, I mean, we're in the second half of the season. I should know all of this stuff by now. I'm going to do it, though. Um, I'm going to take out Plaquetta, and I'm going to bring in Hayden here. Because I don't want Newcastle to cancel his loan. I'm going to take out Deli Ali as well. He's not offering anything. And I'm going to bring in... Do I go Jelovic? Yes, I do. Okay. Richards. Nice. Scarlet. I mean, that was... Pretty well defended, to be fair. This is nice, though. Good start to the second half. Scarlet. Bit of space here for Tim. Into Richards now. No. Oh, don't you just hate it? When you try and pass it in behind and it goes straight to a defender's feet. It happens way too often in this game. I'm, 
trying not to complain too much. <laughs> but I've noticed it way more in this title than any previous FIFA. The amount of interceptions the CPU make when you're just trying to knock it in behind and they just hoover it up. The ball just goes too close to them almost every time. Very frustrating. By the way, I was having a look at Matriziani's development. As you know, we're trying to turn him into a centre-back. He's already made some very good progress. Hiring more coaches has definitely helped as well. Cross coming in. Oh, it's too deep. Wait, win the header. No. Shada was completely unmarked. If I could have got it to him there, I think we score. But yeah, I'm anticipating we can get Matriziani playing as a proper centre-back before the end of this season, which is really, really good. It might be sooner than we think. It might be just a couple of weeks now. We've got less than 10 minutes to go already. Oh my, this is flying. This whole game has flown past. Still 1-0 at the moment. This is winnable though. It is so winnable. Especially if I can get forward now. Here is Dozel. Let's go on the left side. We've got Veo in at cam right now as well. See if he can get involved. Oh no, heavy touch. Oh dear, the heavy touch killed me. I need the ball back now. And I need to get forward now. Nice. Hit it forward. Good first touch. Nice. Come on, Vale. No, he's just been out muscled. Is that going to be it? It's one minute added time. We're not going to have time to get on one more attack. The referee's going to let them, though? No. Another draw. What is going wrong here? I, I don't think changing formation is helping at all. I, I, I know four at the back is what I like, so I'm going to stick with four at the back. I just don't know if I need to be playing with two up top or not. In the last episode, I accidentally accepted an offer um, and it involved a player coming here and I don't want them. So his name was Antonini Louis, a 59 rated centre mid or something. So we're just going to ignore that. We're going to pretend it never happened. OK, nothing happened. We definitely don't want that going through. Now, Middlesbrough, one of the best teams in the league, somehow are below us. We're in ninth. OK, I mean, it could be a lot worse. A win here could take us into the top seven. So despite the fact that I haven't been winning, we're still kind of in a good position. So just beat Middlesbrough. That's that's it. Just beat Middlesbrough. We are going back to basics. It's just the 4-3-3. And Scarlett is still somehow the top scorer. I would have thought because he's been going through a bit of a, a difficult spell, let's say. The whole team has. We haven't been scoring. I thought maybe someone would have taken over by now. But no, he is still the top scorer. He's going to get one in this game. And I've already passed the ball off the pitch just like that. <laughs> Doesn't bode well, does it? Deli Alley. Ball over the top for Sharda. That is a great ball. It was actually for Paul, But I will take over. I'm going to have to pass it, though. Oh, I've just gone the wrong way. I thought I was going to be in and I could have just shot. But then all of a sudden, I wasn't free. I wasn't solo anymore. That's got to be offside. It's not. Wow. They've made the same mistake, though. They should have gone earlier. And we've been able to recover a few players. Well done, Cannon. He is just... He's so good. Whoa. I was right behind that. It's a very good corner. And the header was definitely going in. It's a good save from Begovic. You've got to give him respect when he makes good saves. But then slam him when he does terrible. <laughs> right, come on. Yes, we've won the ball. Let's go. Scarlett, make your run. Okay, that's kind of rubbish. Thanks for that, Richards. Brilliant ball. I would just like to point out that right now, I've got a clean sheet. It's a miracle. It really is. And we're in their box. Sade trying to just... Make a bit of space there. Isn't going to happen. Almost half time. We've got time for one more attack, surely. Deli Alley. Over to Paul. That's good. Here we go. Into Sharda. Nice. Onto his right foot. Oh, so nearly getting through. Middlesbrough doing very well to, to stop Sharda getting in there. Again, to be fair. And I guess that is going to be it for this first half. But like I said, silver lining right now. I've got a clean sheet. I've got a clean sheet. That is... Oh, I could celebrate. I just need a little bit of magic from someone. Come on. Oh, that is definitely not magic. Just giving away the ball like that. Get a tackle in. 
How has he got that through? How has he got that back? Oh, it's so unlucky. Just bouncing around everywhere. Look at that. Okay, finally, we've come away with it. Here is Sharda. Nice. Terrible pass. It's on me, guys. 100%. I'm not putting a good passing together in that final third. I can get the ball in there, and then I just kind of flop. I, I don't know. It just doesn't click. Still with a clean sheet right now, though. And we will continue right now without conceding. This is great, at least. 15 minutes to go. I'm thinking positively. All I need is one chance. And I can win this game. But is that chance going to fall for me? Let's see. Plaquetta here. Putting it through for Cannon. Is he going to get there? He so nearly did. Chase this down. Put pressure on their defence. Oh, imagine if I win that header. Oh, no. Not good. Cannon get back. Yes. Well done. Ten minutes left. <sighs> it can still happen. I'm just waiting on a miracle to come. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, that is so lucky. He's offside. <laughs> no. Oh, please, game. I'm bringing on Vale. If he's onside there and I score, I'm just elated. I'm cheering. I'm so happy. And of course it wasn't onside. It just, it can't be. <laughs> I'm not allowed a bit of luck like that. That was a mad deflection though, wasn't it? Oh no, and McNair's in the way. Okay, we've still got five minutes. It isn't over yet. And don't forget, Middlesbrough, whilst they're struggling this season, they are one of the better sides for sure. Here we go. Vale, a chance to make... A difference here. Oh, wow. Might as well just not bother coming on. Why? Why with your right foot? I even waited for the ball to kind of shift over onto the left side so he could smack it with his left, but no. He goes with his right. It goes wide. No surprise there. He has been a flop signing, unfortunately. Trying to get the ball over the top with just seconds to spare here. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything, guys. A nil-nil draw isn't the worst. Because you know what that means. No. No. Oh, imagine if he shot and scored there. It does mean a clean sheet at least. Come on then. Be rude to me. Tell me how rubbish I've been. How can QPR get a win? <laughs> we have to stay strong. I know how we can do it. Um, score goals. Why do you struggle to break this team down? Um, it's a team game. Yeah, it's not really the best answer. Wasn't much between the teams today. Uh, it's just a boring nil-nil. Just, just be honest with me. Just say that was a rubbish game, wasn't it? What happened? And I would have told you, point and blank, we were bad. It is what it is. <laughs> right. Okay. The the accidental offer that I almost went through with has fallen through. So that's good. Um, transfer talks have broken down, of course. He's still a player I'm looking to sell. So that's fine. Tim Irubanam is going to play against his old team. Aston Villa in the cup. Let's go. Oh, it's snowing. Ugh. Just to make things even harder, it's snowing. Playing a Premier League team. I'm in some of the worst form I've been in this season. <laughs> and it's snowing. It's just typical, isn't it? We've got John starting. My young youth academy left back. Oh, they've got Emery Chan. Wow. And Ivan Tone. Interesting. But, um... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I've put a relatively rotated squad up today because, look, even with my strongest team, the likelihood is I'm not going to be able to beat Aston Villa. They've also signed Wan-Bissaka. They've been spending money. They've got a very, very good side. So I think just use a couple of my, um, my backup players, basically my second team here, with a couple of first team players like Sade still in there. Uh, we've still got Scarlet as well. And, oh, we've got it. Please. A nice early goal. I dare you. Wow. What an interception that was. And they're in. It's Rogers. And Begovic. Good save. Run, 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 run. Why aren't you faster? Come on. Probably the fastest player on the pitch. Although... Have they got DRB on the pitch? He's probably quicker. But still, come on, what was that? Just all of a sudden had no pace. 
turn. That's got to be a foul. He must have got the ball first. I, it looked like I touched the ball there. I moved it forward and then he just crunched me. I guess not. Look at this space. Oh my God. No way. Oh, I've put it over. That was nice though. Just a little gap in between their midfield. Okay. We can, we can score if we get a couple of those chances, right? Right? They've only got a World Cup winning goalkeeper in goal. <laughs> oh, Emery Chan's made a mistake. John's in. Cross. Win the header. Oh my God, how's he done that? I think that came off him as well. He set them up. I think it was Dozel. Dozel. Zaniolo's in here. Hayden's not quick enough. It's going to be 1-0. Oh, Begovic. His form is on the up, guys. He's, he's genuinely doing a lot better right now. He has been shocking recently, so we need it. Is that going to be a good ball? It is, but the referee blows his whistle. Do you know what? We're playing against Aston Villa, and right now we're not looking too bad. It's not like we, out, we look out of place, we look like a League 2 side and we're losing 5-0. We're genuinely holding our own here. That's incredible. Oh, and Begovic, incredible as well. Ivan Tone should probably score there. Corner coming in from Zaniolo. Head it out, please. Oh, no. Tone scores. <laughs> it was coming. He's an elite striker. Welcome back in the game. Obviously, he wasn't in the game on launch because of his betting suspension. But he's in the game now, and he's already torturing me. He's on side. He was in my own half. Scarlett's in here. Please finish this. Please. Come on. We've actually scored a goal. Oh, the relief. It does feel good when you're struggling and then suddenly you do score. That's the, the massive silver lining of playing terribly for a few games because eventually you do find that magic again and that was it. That was the magic. I think it was Iropinam, the Aston Villa player that we signed, with the ball over the top. It might have been someone else that I might be wrong, but that was a beautiful assist. Less than 10 minutes to go. I'm feeling quite confident right now. I reckon I can do something special here. Oh, yeah. As soon as I say that, I do that. Unbelievable. It's fine. I'm going to get the ball back. We're going to go forward and we're going to win this game. And we're going to beat Aston Villa in the FA Cup. Oh, I almost got that from Emery Chan there. Please don't score. Please don't. Yes, look, watch, watch. Sharda, just run. You absolutely have the pace here. Apparently he doesn't. The game is crippling my pace. Over on the right side, we're just going to switch the play. That's not where I wanted it, but it'll have to do. We've got one last throw of the dice, and I've thrown it off the table and rolled a double one. What is the actual point? Awful. Is it going to go to penalties? Or is it... Oh, please don't be a replay. I don't want to play Aston Villa again. This was really difficult. I've been so focused. Is it pens? It is. No, it's extra time and then pens. Okay. Come on then. Make a run. Make a run. Thank you. I think he was offside, but we've gone through anyway. Please be a good cross. Um, okay. I mean... Oh, he's offside. Oh! Oh, it's painful. It's so painful. I put in a good amount of power into that cross. And he just kind of knocks it into the first man. I just think, why? Why? Just just, just launch it in. And, or actually just dink it in. Float it in. Do something a little bit different. It just doesn't, doesn't do it sometimes. Right, another half of extra time here. I think we're going to go into pens, aren't we? Good ball. Oh, my God. Scarlet. No. Who is this queer field? Has he got 99 pace? He's done that two or three times in this game. I've been in behind and he just catches up. He is immense. He's wearing the number four shirt. He must be good. Or they've just been very kind to him and given him the shirt. <laughs> okay, we've got one last opportunity, maybe. Oh, I'm trying to get it on the left side. It's worked. Shard is in. Is he onside? He is. Over on the right. No! I don't want penalties because I'm up against Martinez. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably not going to win that. Oh, please. Just, just one last attack where I get lucky. 
That's what I'm asking for. One, one bit of big luck here. Going into the final seconds. I'm going to run with Cannon. There's no way, right? There's no way. Shard is in the box. Oh, man, just imagine if you volleyed that in. Okay, penalties it is to end this episode. Can I finish on a high and go through? Scarlet up against a World Cup winner. And we've scored. Top right corner. Very nice. Gerard Moreno, is that? Bottom right. <laughs> yeah. Never saving that in a million years. I'll replicate that. Watch. Bottom right. Bang. Off the post. And I've gone the right way and I didn't save it. Oh, this game. Vale, bottom left. Good pen. Very good pen. Middle. He's going down the middle. I'm not moving. Oh. They've been incredible penalties from all of the Villa players so far. Sharda, top left. Class, mate. Well done. If they score this, though, I'm in trouble. Top right. <laughs> don't change your mind don't change your mind middle straight down the middle beautiful I need to save this so though guys this is it if Villa score we are out it is Zaniolo he's going top left he did go top left okay Dozel now he's going to score top left nope I'm going to miss top left they're going top left again Sykes they're going top right oh I would have saved it Oh, I'm so done. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. We are out. Unai Emery's army go through. We'll be back in the next episode. We will bounce back. And we're going to win a football match. Okay, we will win a football match. It's going to happen. This was the winning moment. Oh, I should have gone top left. I even said it. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Don't change your mind, I said.